instead of going to the bank to finance for purchasing a car or put a down payment on a house, you have a lump sum of cash value in your policy. You could do that yourself, right? So that way, you you're so when you pay yourself, you paying you paying yourself in the policy, and as the policy continues to grow and compound. Hey y'all, Sean in town here. So I'm back with uh, a member of the family here on my channel. He's no stranger to the channel. You know, uh, you see me wear my glasses. That means we're about to talk business. And look, if you're about that business, you need to tune into this episode. Let me tell you, we're going to be dropping a lot of gems. We're going to talk money. We're going to tell you how to get up in that. Um, we're also going to talk about, you know, insurance, life insurance, health insurance, and all the, you know, the whole nine. Like I said, we're going to talk money. We're going to talk independent contracting. We're going to, I'm probably give, going to give away a few apps. The information that we're going to give, I don't need, need to make this long. Soak it all up, y'all. Soak it all up. Ezra, what's going on? Sean, what's going on, man? Hey, man, everything is good with you. We're going to get straight to it, though. So, um, because I want you to tell people, for people who haven't, uh, who have not met you here on my channel, never seen you before here, um, uh, you're not a stranger to the family, right? But for the new folks, you know, tell us uh, about what you do um, and, uh, you know, just what you're doing out here and um, how you're helping people and all that good stuff. For sure, for sure. So, welcome, everyone. Uh, w welcome again. My name is Ezra Giove. I am an insurance broker. I specialize in life insurance, health insurance, and uh, funeral pre-need services. And, you know, Ezra, life insurance, when people hear that, you know, they were like, okay, let me go to the next video. Y'all stick around because we got something that you need to hear, y'all. I'm telling you, plus I'm going to give out three, three dope apps that's going to get you a lot of money. And this guy He's making money as well on some of those apps. So we're all out here hustling. We're all out here having, you know, two and three jobs, you know. Um, but uh, let, let's talk about uh, health insurance. Tell us why uh, having health insurance and life insurance, you know, is so important, especially when you're in the independent contracting space, you know, uh, using your own vehicle uh, to deliver whatever it is, packages, and, you know, medical supplies, whatever the case may be, cargo. Why is health insurance so important? Oh, man. A lot of people know about life insurance, right? But health insurance, a lot of individuals do not realize that they can have affordable life, uh, health insurance, um, especially as an independent contractor for those that's doing a lot of courier work. And I know people that are in your in your that that follow you that subscribe to your channel you know they're out here driving in cars right with no insurance they have car insurance yeah but no health insurance and you can find affordable health insurance um that will help you in times of an emergency you know if you are getting a, a car accident you know couriers are more likely to get into accidents than regular individual drivers that have a regular nine to five because you're on the road majority of the time throughout the day so you want to make sure that if something happens to you that you can afford, you can afford to go to that, take that ambulance ride to the hospital. You can go to the emergency room or just a regular, you know, annual checkup, you know, just so that way you have it. And it's affordable. Some clients I'm able to help them with free insurance, you know, because of some of the programs that are out there. So individuals need to take advantage of that. You know, that's the thing is like, and, and, and that's something I, I don't think a lot of courier drivers or, you know, independent contractors, actually you know think about they're on the road 10 times more five to 10 times more than you know regular people yes they right. are and it's not even you might be a great driver but you're around other people that don't know how to drive you know i'm in florida you you know you're from florida so you know <laughs> there's people out here that don't know how to drive so uh -huh. you you might be good but the person behind you a person in front of you you know may not be good and you want to make sure you're you're ready for any type of emergency. Now that we're speaking about, you know, uh, drivers being on the road a little bit more often uh, than before, even more often than before, because there are so many things uh, to go, so many places to go now, so many more companies that are outsourcing jobs and so forth. So uh, the risk is higher to get into a car accident and so forth. Now for you being in, in, in the business, in the insurance business, you know, life insurance, health insurance and so forth, um, you know, getting benefits. What are some of the things uh, that you've seen, uh, you know, when it comes to like accidents and death? Oh, I see it more often than you think. Um, I experienced that personally or well, professionally with a specific client 
Uh, she was an individual that was getting insurance for her mother, Sean, mm -hmm. for her mother. And we was uh, assisting her mom to get insurance. And she was a young individual, like 24, 25 years old. And I asked her, hey, do you have insurance for yourself? You know, you're very young. You can get a insurance that's very inexpensive that'll cover you. So that way you're good. And she was like, you know, you know, not at this time. Right. And, you know, I don't want to force people to get insurance. You know, it's your decision. But I do press, you know, hey, this is an important issue because you always want to make sure oh, you have insurance. Yeah. <laughs> you always, you know, the best time to get insurance is when you don't need it, because when you need it, you already have it. You know, um, by the time you need it, you don't have it. Right. And it's too late. So long story short, you know, I'm on my timeline on Facebook and I see a pictures of her on my timeline. So I'm like, okay, is it her birthday or whatnot? And it was her friends that was like broken heart emojis, you know, RIP. And she passed away. This was literally like a couple of weeks after we spoke. She passed away. True story. Um, and she she got in the car and I called the brother. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's going on? I, I found out about your sister. You know, I'm so sorry to hear what happened. And he told me that she got in a car accident mm -hmm. and she passed away. Wow. You know, so the, and young. You know, so it doesn't matter how old you are, you know, it, listen, once again, you, you're on a road with other people. You never know what can happen. The car breaks may malfunction. You just never know what can happen. So something that could have easily helped the family because the brother asked me, Hey, I know we was talking about our mom, but did she get insurance also? And I told him, unfortunately, no, your, your sister didn't get insurance. So they had to do a GoFundMe, you know, and be able to pay, you know, for that funeral. So mm -hmm. something that was inexpensive could have helped them out dramatically, but because of that one decision of not taking action, cost mm -hmm. them a lot, un unfortunately. Now, sometimes it seems like, you know, people, especially our folks, a little bit, you know, uh, they have this, this step back mentality or attitude when it comes to insurance because they feel like it's expensive. You know, for people who think it's expensive, you and I, we got insurance and we're good, right? Yeah. For people who think it's expensive, uh, is it? No. It's not expensive at all. When I, you know, and you guys, people that know me, they know when I sit down with you, I look at what is your goal? Because there's different types of insurance, you know, even health insurance, life insurance, it doesn't matter. There's different types of things that they do. So whatever it is, we look at the goals, we look at your budget, and we've customized the plan that will fit your goals at the budget that you're able to comfortably afford, you know. So I have client, I have a client that's paying insurance seventeen dollars for life insurance a month. A what? young individual, <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. You know, so it all depends on what your goals are. But we, I am able to make sure that we fit in the realistic budget because at the end of the day, I don't just want you to have insurance. I want you to hold on to it. I want you to keep it. So when it's time, it's there for you, for you and your family. So. Take that out of your head that it's, it's too expensive. There's multiple types of policies, multiple budgets that it can work for. We can make it happen. Like I said, y'all, we talk about life insurance. We're going to talk a little bit more about life insurance, but now we really are elaborating on the health insurance side of things. So some people feel like it's a little bit too late to get health insurance. What do you think? No, it's not too late. Most, most jobs or W-2 jobs, you know, you have open enrollment at a certain particular time of the year. So even if it's in the middle of the year, um, there's different programs where you can get coverage now, you know? Yeah. So it's not too late, it's never too late. Um, there's different programs out there that can make sure you're able to get health insurance coverage that will help you for medical expenses, um, annual visits, if you need to see a specialist, medication, um, and uh, different other things as well, that's affordable. So it's never too late to get insurance. What 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 range based on, you know, um, how much people make? Let's just say somebody's making thirty thousand dollars to fifty thousand dollars a year. Um, what the rate would look like around that area, and then from sixty thousand dollars or fifty thousand dollars to a hundred thousand dollars a year, what would the rate look like typically? It doesn't have to. You don't. You don't have to be on. You know, on target, but you know, some kind of range. Um, what it would look like for health insurance, you know, on a monthly basis, if uh, uh, an independent contractor is going to pay out of pocket. Okay, so that's a good question. So, if you're a W two employee, it's it's going to be very difficult because of the way your money is categorized. No, ten ninety nine. 
Right. But if you're a 1099, if you're a 1099, you have your own business, there's a lot of wiggle room because of the way that your money is, um, you have different tax breaks that you could take advantage of. So I have individuals that are making $50,000 plus in their business, but the way that they have their income set up, they're able to get affordable health insurance. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about $50 a month, $100 a month, right? Those that are making a, a lot of money because of the way that you have your LLC set up and your 1099, you're able to get those tax breaks. Um, so it's very, very affordable. And then also depending on your household size. So if you're a single mom with three kids, you know, you're going to get even more tax breaks to get more affordable insurance for yourself. If you're yeah. a family of four, you know, family of five. So it all depends on your specific household size, your specific um, income amount and how the income is categorized, you'll be surprised of the tax breaks and how affordable the insurance could be for you. Let's talk about the different types of life insurance. Can you give us a quick, a very brief breakdown of the different type of life insurance um, for those people who are thinking about getting life insurance? Yeah. So I break it down as the big three, you know, so there's term, in, term insurance, there's IUL, which is in, uh, index universal life, and then there's whole life. IUL and whole life are both permanent policy. That means they can cover you for the rest of your life. They can cover you to age 100, and, age 100, age 120. Term, the, the longest term is usually for 30 years. So it's only for a short period of time, right? Okay. You can get it for 10 years, 15 years, 20, 30 years of coverage. So they both, whether it's term or permanent, they both can give you what's called living benefits. So that okay. means if you were to get sick, if you were in a critical condition, right? Like God forbid you're in a car accident and you're in critical condition. Let's say you have a half a million dollar life insurance policy. The insurance is set up where, Hey, when I pass away, the $500,000 is going to get paid to my family. Right. But if you have living benefits like terminal illness, critical illness, chronic illness attached to it, if you're in a medical uh, emergency or a health crisis, you can qualify for getting a portion of that death benefit while you're alive tax-free. So that can help pay for medical expenses, that can help pay for your bills because you, you may not be in a position to work because of the condition that you're in, unfortunately, but you have monies in that life insurance that you could take advantage of now and pay for your bills and take care of your family, right? Mm -hmm. um, so that's the benefit. So now permanent, has a different, uh, uh, an additional living benefit, which is called cash value, yeah. right? So cash value is the money that you could borrow from your policy while you're alive, tax-free, because you're borrowing it as a loan, and you can be able to utilize those funds to invest in your business, invest in whatever you want to invest in, stocks, whatever whatever case may be. The best strategy for, tax, for cash value is use the funds to... Uh, to to purchase income producing assets, right? You know, hey, I'm gonna put some money here. That way, it, I can flip it, grow my money, put it back into the policy, let it continue to grow and compound. Some people use the cash value to supplement their retirement income. A lot of individuals, Sam, that are 1099s, they don't have a retirement fund, so they could use the cash value as it grows and compounds throughout the years. So when it's time for them to retire, they can use some of those funds to take care of themselves when as retirement income. So that's a benefit that um, uh, whole life and IUL can do for you when it comes to that portion of a strategy. But all in all, the best time to get a policy is now because this is the youngest you'll be. This is most likely the healthiest you'll be. So you'll be able to capture that death benefit or that uh, policy at a great rate for yourself. Um, so that's kind of a nutshell of life insurance. Man, that's a good breakdown, man. We appreciate it, man. We do appreciate it. So you could pretty much, you know, have money in the policy and pretty much borrow against what they say, borrow against the policy or something like that. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, a lot and, of people a lot of people call that strategy right becoming your own being your own bank. Instead of going to the bank to finance for purchasing a car or put a down payment on a house, you have a lump sum of cash value in your policy, you could do that yourself, right? So that way you you're so when you pay yourself, you paying your, you paying yourself in the policy and as the policy continues to grow and compound tax free tax free if you got 60 or 100 thousand dollars up in there you oh, can yeah. borrow against that policy take out that 60 or 50 thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars 
invest in a house or a property, flip that money, you know, come put it back, all tax-free. You're able to borrow against the policy tax-free. This is how the rich get richer. This is how the wealthy does it, y'all. If y'all don't know, this is how the wealthy do it. Like, they, they don't tell you this type of stuff. All right, man. So, you know, uh, w- w- how can people get in touch with you, man? We need your information. I see you all over social media. I see you popping all over. So- well, pause. I see you out here doing your thing on social media. Uh, you're advertising, you're marketing. I see a lot of people, a lot of people reaching out to you all the time. And you're out here helping people, getting people in there, man. How can uh, my audience or the viewers uh, reach out to you? Oh, yeah. The best way to reach out to me is you call me directly. 305-905-8546 or text 305-905-8546. You can reach out to me on Instagram or social media, which is Ezra D Insurance Broker on Instagram and on Facebook, Ezra Duve. So Ezra E Z R A, last name, D as in David, I E U V E I L L E. Um, but shoot me a text, shoot me a call. You know, I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. And I do free consultations. So it's no charge to you to have a conversation with me. Ah, oh, you can't be that. So y'all text him or call him, do whatever, set up that free consultation. This man is not charging you. It is free, 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 free 99. I know y'all love y'all some free 99. So, you know, get a consultation with Ezra, man. Um, so, uh, you know, that's, 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 that's so good. Uh, and you know what? This is so important. For my channel, I really thank you for coming on, Ezra. Uh, you've been a good friend, and also you've been a good, uh, you know, business uh, colleague. Thank you so much for allowing me to get on your platform and share this information. Uh, we have to stick together, guys. We have to be able to share this knowledge because, once again, if we don't, then who will? We cannot wait for someone to come and save us. We have to do it ourselves, right? And that c- comes with us helping each other out. So I'm here to give that knowledge out to you guys. Um, I would say once again, prepare, prepare, prepare. Uh, one thing that we all know is that life, it, it gets real busy and then we forget, right? But then when it's time for something to happen, we're not ready. So my encouraging word for you guys is to prepare now mm-hmm. so that way you don't have to prepare later. That's good, man. All right, y'all. As usual, God bless. Peace. Peace.